Hey, what's up guys? So, you know, typical Monday. Um, probably gonna be doing the same thing I did last Monday, but gotta re-up on Shisha for the hookah, of course. It's starting to look like a, an every Monday thing because I go through what I buy in about a week. So, yeah, I'm gonna go do that. Grab something to eat, and then I already know Jimmy's at the shop, so, yeah. See you guys. No on the track. Ain't no way with my goon said he mobbin. Just call me Batman cause I'm with the robin. Ski mass in August, my niggas we ballin'. I have this chopper, it ain't just your noggin. Bruce Lee is up, I keep me a chopper. My bars just hot lava, I need get my guapa. Don't with your homie, she look like you baka or a chupa cobra. I might got a blocker. I'm not gonna go bow and call down. So we got a subscriber over here. Yo, what's up, man? What's your name, man? My name is Sam, bro. <laughs> Damn, this is a slick ass car. Thanks, man. I seen it on video, but I never knew it looked this good. Thanks, bro. I saw you uh, a while back while I was driving uh, over in like Nogtuck. Oh, yeah? And I was about to pull around, but I said not. Nah. <laughs> but now I saw you right here. That's crazy, man. It is. It's a nice car, too. Thanks, man. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. But, uh, yeah. That's honestly never happened before. So yeah, guys. Picked up Shisha. Picked up fucking um, some lunch. And yeah, I'm about to start my day. Alright, so I've been at the shop for a while. We got Kaiser out here and his yeah, boy. What's going what's on? Good? Dude. What's your what's your channel, bro? Yo, Infamous Labs TV. Infamous Labs TV. That's I'll throw Labs, it up right here. Labs with a Z, L -A -B -C. <laughs> I got Check you, dude. <laughs> but yeah, we're all just chilling right now. I'm helping Chow put his kit on his S13. <clears throat> all right, so I'm helping Chow. Well, me and Damien are helping Chow fit his awesome kit on. It's like a whole new car from like before we left. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Love it. Child, this shit looks sick. I'm just gonna do another one right next to this one. Looks fat one. So I just finished help helping Chow put his kit on and oh my god. This thing looks so much different. The front looks amazing. There's still some uh fiberglass dust on it, but after Damien's done washing his car, he's about to wash his and dude, this shit looks sick. So yeah, I got a little sidetrack. <laughs> I helped the homie Chow out and then Yeah, Jimmy still hasn't moved his bike yet, so I can't I can't really work on it with this bike here. So yeah, I'm gonna have to tell him to move this shit. But look at Chow's car. I'm gonna do a little stance at it on Chow's car. So it's the next day, or I wouldn't say day, it's more like night. I got out of work a little while ago and I came through with Damien. We're just chilling right now, but uh, yesterday I got a little uh, sidetracked and helped uh, Chow with his uh, his body kit. So I'm gonna get started on cutting this right now. Um, I just gotta cut a little more right here, this little piece, and then I'm gonna use a flap disc and grind it down to the frame rail on both sides. I was supposed to do it yesterday, but Jimmy's bike was in the way and 
everyone, sh like mad people started showing up, so I just hung out, but I'm gonna do that right now. All right, there's that. And there's the other side. I cut this side a little closer, so that's good. But I just gotta grind down the rest of that with a flap disc, and uh, should be good. All right, guys, so right now, Pat just rolled up to my house. We're about to go to the shooting range. It's a little raining today, but we're gonna not gonna we're not gonna let that stop us. We're gonna have some fun. But I'll talk about the Evo in a little bit. But he's waiting. I'm kind of late, so let's go. So the range we're heading to is uh, an outdoor range that's actually pretty local. Uh, two of our buddies are already there. But it's yeah, fun for no it is. It, uh, it's dude, just, look at this. These Oh, yeah, it's all oh it's all God. fucking back roads and like a ton of potholes in the road. It's going up a mountain basically. But uh it's probably snowing up here, dude. Yeah. But yeah, we got we got 200 rounds to fucking waste today, dude. All right, so sadly the range is private as fuck and uh yeah, I'm not allowed to film in it. So just show it a little. A little but there it is. Sorry about that, guys. Well, that was a good way to, uh, you know, start a morning, kind of. I was supposed to wake up at, like, 8.30, 9 o'clock, but I woke up at, like, 10. I feel, I, I'm, my bad, Pat. My bad. <laughs> but, uh, actually, it wasn't a big deal because somebody was late also, but had a great time. Fucking half hour later, yo, 200 rounds gone, dude. Yeah, yeah, it was a good dude. time. Alright, so I just got to the shop. Um, I was gonna do an oil change, but Damien's doing uh, Callie's exhaust. I think they went to get food real quick, but I gotta wait now. I'm gonna do an oil change on this. And by the way, it's all cleaned up, guys. All cut, grinded down. Just waiting on the power brace now. All right, so we are back today. Finally gonna do this oil change. Kaiser's picking up Jimmy's old shell, about time. Got fucking room in the shop now, dude. Hype. Kaiser's gonna do some crazy shit to this. Well, not really, he's gonna put a K in it, but. Yeah, I got you. Oil change is all done. So Roger came through, finally got his uh, coupe painted. Fine. Looks freaking great. Taking this down to North Carolina tomorrow. Yeah, 12 hours. Z Day? I'm gonna die. Z Day, I'm Tale of the die. Dragon. But yeah, basically, I'm doing his kit for him, his skirts. Doing kits again. I just did Chow's kit. Just finished doing Roger's skirts. About to put the lip on. Lonely ass nigga. So yeah, that's about it for today. Me and Jimmy are just bulling now. We're chilling. I also did these today because I was bored. But shits are fucking <laughs> crazy. All right, guys. So I'm gonna do some explaining about why I haven't been posting. In a few weeks, a couple weeks, I think. It hasn't been too long. But I'm going to explain about why I haven't been posting. Um, what's going on with the S14. What's going on with the Evo. I haven't told you guys what happened to the Evo yet. But basically, I haven't been posting because my laptop was like full. Like the whole disc was full. Like the storage was full and all that. But I figured it out. I got it all cleaned up. So now I have space. And yeah, I just couldn't render videos because... The whole thing was full so basically that's all set i could post again more daily vlogs um the s14 i basically cleaned out the front end of all that that rotting and rusting that was going on which was the tension rod brackets and uh the the bottom piece it's like a bottom bar on the radiator support so got all that off the car i'm i was waiting on a nismo power brace and the place that I ordered it from, I thought they had it in stock. They said they had it in stock, but like two weeks or a week and a half has passed by and I 
fucking it never came in and I never got tracking or shipping or anything like that so yeah been trying to figure out what the hell is going on with that so yeah I called them I got it all taken care of I actually told them to refund it I didn't even explain why oh yeah the, re the reason why that uh, it, it took so long to come in or it hasn't even came in yet but they 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 were getting them they were getting them from Japan and I called like two days ago I have allergies real bad guys like my nose is so itchy right now but besides that um they they said a couple of days ago when I called that they were getting their like crate shipment in from Japan and it was supposed to be in sometime in the middle of this week um let me check the data actually so you guys know uh today is monday may 15th and yeah they said they were supposed to get it in in the middle of this week or so but i didn't want to wait for that because they they said once it comes in they have to go through customs and that would have took like a few more days and by the time they shipped that out from california i would have had it in like from today if i waited be another two or three weeks and like fuck that um so i canceled the order Got a refund, should be getting the money in a couple of days through PayPal, and I want to order another one, but Jimmy has been like really trying to find um, a set of stock ones off of a parts car or something like that that someone's selling. I did hit up somebody, they haven't responded yet, but I mean, if it comes to that, I will get the stock ones and then, you know, I'll reinforce them and all that, and you know, fix the radiator support, weld up a new piece, and it'll all be good, and this car will be able to be dri like driven on the road without it going all over the place. So, there's that. Now, the Evo. The Evo, I, I've been driving every day. You know, it is my daily. I've been driving it about, you know, since we came back from tour, driving it every day to work, to the shop, all that, everywhere. So, this happened... Fuck, what day did this happen? It happened last Thursday. It happened last Thursday. I was driving to work and I was about 20 minutes into driving and the car decided to just die on me. And But what I posted on Instagram and everyone was just yelling at me, oh, it's the alternator, it's the alternator. I didn't know for, for a fact that it was the alternator because I had an old... I had an older tire in the rear, the driver's side rear, and I didn't know how worn out it was, but it belted, and when it belted, I heard the belt just slapping in and out in um, my wheel well, and it fucked up my uh, my fender liner and all that in the rear. I never took the fender liner out because it, it was never an issue like it was the front. So that happened, and as soon as that happened, the car died. The battery light came on, the car died, uh, I limped it over to this, you know, to the breakdown lane, and I was like, what the fuck, like, is there a harness that runs through there, and, uh, because this happened in the 240, um, the guy before me, the one before him, tried tucking the wiring harness, if you guys didn't know, 240s, S13s, and S14s, the driver's side front fender, the freaking, the whole wiring harness goes through there, so, most people, they, they cut, they cut um like where where the frame rail is they cut like they cut little slits and then bend them up and then tuck the wires up there which is what i did recently in the winter because i was driving to a friend's house and the car wouldn't start when i was leaving the house and i'm like you know what that has to be it so my putty ended up like using some like scrap wire i had in the car and then um we like wired it all up and i was able to drive it back home that night thank god but later like a few days later i brought it to my buddy i brought it to roger's shop and i fixed it i rewired it i cleaned it up you know i soldered it all back together it's all tucked nice now really high up out of the way out of sight out of mind so i was thinking you know something like that might have happened because my tire belted but a lot of Evo owners have been telling me, and I've actually looked it up, the only wires that run around anywhere in there is the ABS. And 
I checked and that wire was fine and the, you know the, and that wouldn't have caused the car to shut off anyways so it has to be the alternator so soon I'm gonna be getting picking up a, a new alternator or new used alternator and um, getting the Evo back in the road but I do have some plans for the Evo I might not have it any longer I, I really need a truck uh, I'm looking into picking up like a GMC Denali like a dually diesel obviously but We'll talk about that more. Um, so yeah, that happened, and I think that's about it, guys. I think that's all I really had to explain right now, but you guys know, like, comment, subscribe, keep, you know, keep updated, freaking hit the notifications button, guys. I'm going to be having vlogs coming out more. You guys will see more of what's going on and all that. Um, aiming to drift in... About early June, there's this Thompson uh, Lock City throws an event called Night Stage. They drift from like the evening into night. Awesome. Probably gonna put some underglow on this car just for that event. There's two events actually in June for that. But also gonna be um, doing some street drifting in Mexico. So stay tuned to, for that once this is fixed. And yeah, peace out. Good night, guys.